Hello, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Farrell, market analyst at CFDs.com. Be sure to visit CFDS.com for your trading needs. Alternatively, you can visit CFDS.education to certainly keep up to uh, date with my analysis and insight and uh, latest charts and uh, video analysis as well. Okay, let's try and sum up these markets now, folks. Uh, we basically have uh, uh, the uh, queue from um, the US. The US market certainly rallied late into the session yesterday. If I bring up the chart, the S&P 500, and I'll give you an insight there. As opposed to the rally that we had, we had this symmetrical wedge we've broken out. We've had stronger GDP data, which has justified this breakout and provided you with a catalyst now. Uh, this was a technical breakout, and now we've got the fundamental breakout higher as well. Your upside target on the S&P is going to be this gap fill support here, previous resistance equals support uh, at this region here at 2040. That's your upside target on the uh, S&P 500. Alternatively, with the NASDAQ, you have this inverted head and shoulders formation. So if I just bring up the 10-minute chart, and I'll be able to show you, your inverted head and shoulders target is 46.10 on the NASDAQ. So certainly bullish, uh, especially from a fundamental point of view, a fundamental perspective now. And we are looking for uh, higher prices on the uh, U.S. equities, given the stronger GDP number. Not only was the GDP number strong, it was the consumption uh, part of the, uh, the actual... Uh, uh, equation certainly was strong as well. Personal consumption up 3%, GDP up 2%, and we had Philly Fed data uh, higher as well. So certainly bullish from that perspective. So you are looking for higher prices here on US indices. So that will obviously lead the European indices higher as well. Now we've had stronger German data out today. We've had uh, German consumer confidence data was certainly uh, stronger than expected. Uh, we had uh, UK consumer confidence data stronger than expected. We had China, uh, CB leading economic index data out overnight. That was certainly stronger than expected out of China as well. So overall, net net positive, especially in terms of GDP. And that should obviously help commodities and help equities move higher from my understanding. Now, let's look at the actual technical setup now. Let's bring up the chart of the German DAX and let's have a look exactly where we are positioned. Now, the daily chart of the German DAX obviously has closed that gap. We've put in a bottoming tail now especially with stronger consumer confidence data out of the UK and Germany and adding the uh, stronger uh, GDP and personal consumption reading and you are looking at quite a stellar rally. We've obviously closed this gap now. We are looking to potentially propel higher back up to that 10800 zone. Okay, uh, bring up the 10 minute chart on the uh, German DAX. Yes, we certainly are looking very uh, bullish. Uh, we certainly seem to have put in a potential inverted head and shoulders formation as well. So bear that in mind, folks. Your left shoulder is there. Your head obviously has been put in. You're looking at a right shoulder, and we are looking for a potential thrust higher. Again, 10,620, potentially the high of the day or high of the morning is certainly um, certainly next for my understanding and my interpretation thus far. Okay, now in terms of alternative indices, you're looking at the euro stocks. Certainly a base being built here on euro stocks. I'm looking for a potential, potential propel higher or... Uh, we have a doji on the daily chart, so again, certainly uh, a bullish sign, uh, looking at potential uh, breakout here. Uh, you do have a H&S formation, but we are looking at potential negation, and then obviously uh, a thrust higher. We, we also have an inverted head and shoulders formation here, very, very similar, folks. You have this left shoulder, you have this head, and you have the right shoulder, and we are looking to potentially break out here now higher. Okay, so inverted head and shoulders formation. Your pivot low is uh, 3187, your neckline is uh, 3222. 3237, so you're looking at 3270 zone on the upside in terms of the uh, the actual uh, uh, markets themselves, okay, and the Euro, Euro stocks specifically. Now, just bear with me one second while I actually take this trade. Now, I already have a NASDAQ long, so I'm going to take this trade on the live analysis service, send out this information to subscribers as well, so bear with me. This is a very good setup from my perspective. Currently 84, well, 104 points of the week thus far, so so far so good. Uh, it has been tricky though, the start of the week was not exactly good. Uh, so it caught out yesterday. Okay, so I've taken this long at 3221 on the Euro stocks. Looking uh, bullish from my understanding and looking for higher prices here. Okay, so inverted head and shoulders in play okay and obviously the catalyst being the uh, stronger german or stronger us data and obviously german consumer confidence given the fact that we're putting this pivot low here inverted head and shoulders potential retest here and then we are looking to potentially thrust higher up to this uh, key diagonal trend line obviously an unfilled gap above at 3306 as well so you take that into consideration okay interesting scenario here on the um, on the euro stocks now let's bring up the CAC 40 as well, okay, CAC 40, let's bring up the daily chart first and foremost, 
Again, bottoming tail, looking at a potential reversal here now on the daily chart. 60-minute uh, chart, we've obviously flushed lower. We do have that on-fill gap left behind, but given the uh, stronger US data that we just witnessed now, okay, you are looking at a potential thrust higher from my understanding. Now, if we take the Fib high to low, or the low to high, should I say, so if we take the, uh, you are into that Fib 75%, which is held, and therefore looking for a potential thrust and a move higher from my understanding again. Now, bringing up the actual chart of the FTSE 100, let's bring up the daily chart of the FTSE itself. And yes, we have uh, certainly a bullish or a strong day today. Okay, certainly a strong day today, certainly looking at a retracement. The 60-minute uh, chart, you did have this bear flag, which has failed. As you can see, this red candle now has been negated to a large extent, given the fact that it's retraced more than 50%. And uh, this certainly is uh, prone to potentially testing the uh, 6110 zone now. Why? Because there's a stronger US data. So certainly looking to propel this higher. So certainly a bullish argument to be made there now, okay, in terms of uh, the FTSE 100 itself, okay. Now the 10 minute chart of the FTSE 100, certainly a resistance zone here at the 6090 level. Uh, but the next level is at 6115, and obviously you have resistance at 6125. Given US markets, you are looking at potentially testing that as well. So again, all eyes on that. Okay, folks, all eyes on that 6120 and 6130 zone on the uh, FTSE 100, which should be interesting to see how this market reacts. Okay, I think that's a market wrap. Uh, again, US markets looking to propel, especially the inverted head and shoulders formation on the NASDAQ, looking to propel European markets higher. All eyes on the euro, all eyes on Euros, European stocks as well. Okay, I think that's a summation. Be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs. Goodbye now.